dripping the swag like yes. I walk in the spot like yes. She left my pop like yes. I get in my bag like yes. I'm dripping the swag like yes. I walk in the spot like yes. She left my pop like yes. Alrighty, it was good, Fly Gang. Welcome to another episode of Fly Tie TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys. And if you met me on Venice Beach, going crazy with the microphone, giving out free waters for people that subscribe, I appreciate you too. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for talking to me. I love all you guys. But I don't want to talk too much because I know you see the title of this next video. Um, I went and got my tarot read and... This is the first time I ever did that. I really didn't believe in things like that, but I figured that since I'm in the beginning of my YouTube career, I might as well do this now and see if it's accurate or if it's even close to how I'm feeling or anything like that. So I didn't get to record the first part when I shuffled, so you have to shuffle the deck and give it your energy. She tells me to shuffle until I feel like the cards have my energy, and boy, if you know me, I shuffled that deck for about five minutes. I think she was kind of annoyed with me. But I wanted to make sure that the cards had my energy and I wanted to make sure I got a good shuffle. Um, but anyways, um, it was, I was pretty shocked. I liked it, it was pretty accurate. It was pretty goddamn accurate. But um, here it is, I'm gonna stop talking for you guys. Let's get into it, drop a like, comment below. You guys were here first, the ones that are watching right now. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys. So, um, Let's get this channel to 1K subscribers, man. That giveaway is coming up very soon. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for that. Just make sure you have your notifications set. You also need to make sure you have your notifications if in your phone set for YouTube as well. But let's get into this video. Love you guys. From the top. This covers you. So the situation right now is this. You feel like you have to like defend yourself and stand your ground. This is the uh, seven of wands. Wands is all about drive. It's all about motivation, all about creativity. So you said this is about your career. So this tells me that you work in a creative career. And right now you're in a position of having to like defend everything you've done. Up, you know, um, this crosses you. The tower, this is a pretty big part to get for crosses you. Uh, the tower is all about big unexpected change. Um, it's like uh, you've been building this big, big ass tower and then it got hit by lightning and then everyone's falling out, you know? So what crosses you is that you just had uh, this tower moment that feels like a catastrophe. Um, this is the situation on a conscious level. Um, so this is about your career, this is the Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles is all about money, it's all about material things. The Nine of Pentacles is all about creating a beautiful garden around you where you can be happy, you know? And that's how you feel, that's what your career is to you. Just getting the money so that you can have comfort, you know? It's not about like balling it or about like the public acclaim. It's just about creating an environment around you where you can be happy. This is the situation on a subconscious level. The Three of Wands reversed. The Three of Wands is all about expansion, right? You have the Ace, you have an idea. You have the Two, you start planning for the idea. You get to the Three, you're implementing that idea and just thinking of ways where you can make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you got it reversed, which in this case means that this is internally directed energy, you know? So in a subconscious level, this is something that can lead and is your internal expansion into something much bigger than you already are, you know? This is the recent past of the situation. Uh, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is also called the Pope in some uh, other decks. And it represents kind of like institutions, you know, tradition, like the church, your parents, any sort of that like kind of top-down rule. And you got it reversed, which tells me that in the past, you've just been making your own rules, you know? You don't follow tradition necessarily, but you just take your own path and do things your own way. And that's in the recent past. In the near future, you've got the hermit. So you are going to have a moment where the hermit is just someone that goes up into the mountains and, is and isolates themselves to like think and develop themselves, right? Which makes sense with this one, with this internal development. So this is your new, new future. 
future, a period of like isolation and just working on yourself. This is within you. This is your attitude towards the situation. This is the four of wands. Wands. Um, the four of wands is all about celebration. Um, sometimes it's about a wedding. Often it's about reaching like a big milestone. Um, but it's reversed. So that means that you reach that milestone internally, and your attitude is kind of like. Why doesn't everyone else celebrating and seeing this like awesome things that I'm doing, you know? Um, this is around you. This is how the people around you see the situation. This is the chariot. The chariot is about someone who's very much in control, who's going somewhere fast, right? This person's like driving this chariot that's being pulled by these lions and the lions can like go in one way, go in another way, but They've got a firm hold of the reins and where they're going. And this is how the people see you in this situation, right? So they see you as someone who's like really hustling, really knows what he wants, and he's just like going for it and just like harnessing all this like things around him to get it. Um, this is what you hope for. This is funny. Um, this is the six of wands. So in the attitude we saw like how you wish you had more of this like public recognition you know and what you hope for is actually internal recognition the six of wands when it's upright that's what it's all about just like people around you applauding you basically but when it's reversed it's about you applauding yourself so like right here is your attitude right and you see this matter uh, this um milestone that you've reached and you want public recognition but you want public recognition because you don't feel that success yourself unless you have that public recognition and what you actually want is to be able to feel that success internally regardless of whether people like it or don't like it and this wow. is your outcome it's crazy the night of swords yay i love it when people get good cards it's always such a bummer when i have to tell them something sad but the night of swords Swords is about like um, the mind, the intellect, and the knight of swords. Every knight is a very determined figure. The knights know what they want and they're gonna go get it. You know, they're doers, not thinkers. Um, and the knight of swords is specifically just about like rushing towards your goal, you know? So you've got this in your near future, which is the hermit, a moment of pause, of inner reflection. But your overall outcome is going where do you want to go and going there fast um yeah does that make sense do you have any questions that sounds pretty accurate wow i didn't think these were real but <laughs> I, I mean wow that sounds pretty good but, if you don't mind i'm gonna put this on my youtube channel i'm a youtuber sure i'm also a youtuber oh are you really yeah. wow that's great Never shot take my soul Never shot take my life and had a little bitch to me wrong when all i ever did was right and you an angel by the day